Hello, respected audience from across the nation. I am Divya Caruza, the energy and commodities journalist at the Jakarta Post, your host for today's iteration of the Shimizu Premium Interview. In today's interview, we will engage in an insightful discussion with integral business figures who have been contributing to Indonesia's development. First, uh, let me introduce Mr. Akiyama Kohei, Chief Representative of Shimizu Corporation Jakarta office. Shimizu Corporation was founded in 1804 in Japan and has been striving to exceed clients' expectations by providing a value for 219 years. Today, as Shimizu is known for its cutting edge and innovative technology and progressive management in construction businesses. In addition to that, Shimizu has been engaging in four main non-construction businesses lately, including real estate development, engineering, life cycle valuation, and emerging frontier businesses. Today, Mr. Akiyama will tell us about Shimizu's collaboration with Mr. Hanafi and his father, as well as Surya Toto headquarter building project. How are you doing today, Mr. Akiyama? Thank you very much for your introduction. I'm so glad to be here. Thanks. Thank you so much. Let's now give a hearty welcome to Mr. Hanafi at Madireja, Surya Toto's current president director. Mr. Hanafi has been leading the company for around a decade. And now we will be hearing more about Surya Toto's journey, a vision, and how the company will evolve alongside Indonesia. Welcome, Mr. Hanafi. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I would like to delve deeper uh, into Surya Toto headquarter building project. So, uh, Shimizu construct, uh, constructed this building, and Shimizu's group company, Field for Design Office, designed the interior, especially the entrance and the showrooms uh, as well. Can you tell us more about this project? Uh, I need to look back uh, around 45 years ago. Our former Shimizu senior engineers started a business deal with uh, uh, Pahanafi San's great father. And the, over the years and years, uh, we have a strength mutual trust uh, by exceeding each other's expectations through the several projects in Jakarta and sometimes in Bali. Coming back to uh, 2016, uh, Shimizu Indonesia had a, a great occasion from Asriya Toto uh, to work together with them about uh, this Toto Hetokota project. Uh, I want to highlight two points. Uh, one is uh, about the facade. This uh, outside of the building we call a facade. Uh, technically speaking, facade system consists of uh, several types of the fin. So especially uh, down the part, a uh, wavy fin is outside there. A representative water was the hardest part to construct. Uh, we Shimizu Corporation could solve many technical issues based on the, our uh, many experience in the Jakarta high-rise projects. I want to highlight in the entrance area with a, a big escalator zone. But Hanafi and his great father request me a uh, Surya Toto new uh, showroom, going to be a uh, number one showroom in Indonesia. So uh, for all that uh, client object, we uh, bring in Shimizu Group Interior Design Company from Japan. It's a Field 4 interior design office. Field 4 did a design, so presents cool and refreshing uh, atmosphere at, uh, as Toto's corporate blue color mentioned. It. So another challenging part is uh, uh, about 30 meters height of the atrium space, escalator will be uh, go through it. We need to set up a super high scaffolding at the construction time. Highlight point, uh, construction period uh, need to be in time for a great opening ceremony for this building. Our project team, Surya Toto's owner's team, uh, collaborate together well. And the, sometimes, uh, President Director Pahanafi-san often coming to the site, even in the middle of the night, to check with Shimizu together uh, about the progress 
and the, even I still clearly remember the episode uh, just the previous day of the great opening ceremony of this building. Uh, Hanafi-san and the Shimizu team are working late until midnight uh, to clean up a building for the great opening. I still clearly remember, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Hanafi, do you have any thoughts about that? They are, Shimizu is known as the, one of the biggest building construction company in Japan. So it's natural that uh, our line of business is building material. So they use our products you know, from in Japan. So, it's, uh, so we would like to extend the same service for them here in Indonesia. And naturally, when we want to build our new office building and showroom, so the first person we talked to was Shimizu to trust to uh, build this uh, building for us. Now, I would like to ask Mr. Hanafi about Surya Total's journey and mission in Indonesia. Can you tell us a little bit um, about the important developments um, that your company has gone through and what are Surya Toto's goals um, in the country? Can you also explain how the company expanded um, into Indonesia in the first place? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Akiyama Sang, for building this showroom. This is uh, a new showroom. It's a uh, the sales company has been here. We have been selling Toto for 50 years, plus 55 years. Uh, so I, we think it's time to take the next, next step in Indonesia. That's why we built this showroom. Toto is a Japanese company. We are known for the toilet, but actually there's a lot that goes on inside the toilet, the, the construction, the technology inside. That's why we built this showroom. Uh, this showroom, um, it's very complex, but it's our dream to build it, to bring some Japanese craftsmanship here. The most important thing is we want the customer to come here and experience uh, our brand. So not just uh, see the toilet, but uh, experience what's inside of it, learn about technology. That's why we built a very complex showroom in the technical center. Uh, please visit. Uh, I think you have, you have a great time here. And the company actually started uh, 55 years ago. Uh, we uh, started by my father. He started selling uh, Toto in Pinangsia. And the street is still there now, still selling building material. For 10 years, he's been selling Toto. And then after that, the sales was pretty good. And then finally it comes time, you know, where building a factory is feasible. So we went to Japan and asked, invited them to come here. Uh, so we are actually the first uh, outside Japan uh, production point that Toto made, you know, with my father and uh, his cousin back then. So we started in Tangrang. Last time it was outside Jakarta. Now it has become a part of Greater Jakarta with the expressway and so on. So that shows you how much Jakarta has grown over the years. Yeah, so uh, over these 40 years, so our factory has grown from uh, one small point. As now we own three factories in Tangrang and one in Surabaya. We are from a hundred employee now we employ five thousand employees, and uh, it has been going according to plan. So and well, Indonesia has been growing by leaps and bounds also. So as you know, we are the fourth most populous nation in the world. So the market is there, but most important thing is. Uh, Hygiene and sanitation is actually uh, very important to a country. Besides the sales, we would like to actually upgrade the standard of living for everyone in Indonesia. If back then we made only one toilet model from Japan, like maybe like most of the population cannot afford it. Now with mass production and local R&D, we have made uh, a lot of uh, locally made product that fits the population. So hopefully more and more people uh, I think can afford our toilets now. Now we have we are selling over 200 different types of toilets. Yeah, so that's our most important mission actually to uh, better the standard of living for every Indonesian. Okay, thank you so much for the remarkable response, Mr. Hanafi. So now uh, both of you have had an extensive uh, international working experience, carrying out your careers in different countries before starting your tenure here in Indonesia. So in that context, so what do you think uh, are some of the benefits of working in different countries and cultures? 
perhaps uh, Mr. Akiyama or Mr. Hanafi? Yeah, actually, I think the most memorable, I, I worked in Japan for three years uh, in total as a normal staff. So actually, I worked in the factory. You know, I learned how to build the toilets and how to work as a normal employee in Japan. And went to from factory to sales to marketing. So I think it's a good experience. Yeah, you, you can learn a lot, I think. But in Japan, you know, you learn how everybody is like very honest and very sincere about their work. You know, Japanese are very, they take like, uh, it's very passionate about their work. So, and consistency and everything. Thank you, Mr. Hanafi. What about you, Mr. Akiyama? Do you have something to share about the issue? Okay, totally. I have a 21 years overseas working experience. Like uh, in Malaysia, uh, Africa, several countries, and they come back to Malaysia again, and uh, Singapore, and uh, here, Indonesia, Jakarta, already uh, past uh, 10 years. In my experience uh, overseas, I learned a lot from each country, but uh, uh, like Hanafi said, I need to focus in Indonesia. I love Indonesian people, Indonesian culture, but the, uh, I mostly addicted into the uh, possibility of Indonesia. It's, uh, still, of course, Indonesia is a great, uh, great country, but the, uh, in terms of uh, business, still uh, there is a lot of potential with the uh, Indonesian uh, good nature of the people. Uh, so uh, Indonesia is, uh, I, I always uh, uh, admire and respect the country and the people. Taking from both um, your, of your experiences, specifically in Japan, Indonesia, uh, what do you think each country can learn from each other? Uh, I think there's a lot you can learn. Like Japan is known as one of the safest countries in the world. So what makes the country safe is not the police or anything, it's actually the people. Yeah, if you go to Japan, I know uh, it's also one of the most visited countries by Indonesian. So I'm sure a lot of Indonesian when they, they know when you go to Japan, you know, you feel safe and you can trust all the people. You, you have a great time there. So same thing with the business. We, uh, I myself have worked with the, my Japanese partner uh, you know, my whole family for 40 years, you know, me, myself, maybe 20 years. You know, working with Japanese like uh, Akiyama san, like Shimizu, you know, we can, you know, I feel uh, safe and you can trust them and I can focus on doing just growing the business with them, you know, instead of other things. So I think that's a really great uh, uh, feeling and uh, good motivation to, to work with the, the Japanese overall. From decades of working um, internationally, um, perhaps uh, both Mr. Akiyama-san and Mr. Hanafi can give a brief message uh, to the youths who are aspiring to work internationally. I'm still struggling to uh, <laughs> work well in globally. I'm, I'm studying still well, but uh, let's say how positiveness and the uh, Challenging spirit is uh, one of the key words, I believe, globally, how we work. Right? And the, once we start to challenge anything, so it, it becomes an uh, experience for yourself, ourselves. So experience, uh, I always think, somebody's experience we cannot buy, right? even good experience or bad experience. So, uh, and after that, uh, we better to have a confidence in our own experience. So challenging, have an experience and have a confidence in own experience. Uh, this is an important thing. We need to have a, a passion, warm heart with a cool head. So something like a, such a balance also uh, we need to be global. Yes, I believe. Thank you so much, Mr. Akiyama. And what about you, Mr. Hana? If you're young, you know, Number one is, of course, you. it's a time you can challenge yourself to try everything while you're young, you know, but most importantly, you know, I think it's been said a lot of times before, you heard it before. Sometimes when you find work, money is not everything. 
you know most important is do what you like if you do what you like you know everything else comes naturally uh, honesty passion motivation you know everything will come naturally so you'll do your best work when you like what you're doing be honest be sincere with other people you know i think that's uh, very important when you're working Thank, Thank you. you so much uh, for your stories, uh, Mr. Hanafi and Mr. Akiyama. I'm sure that your perspectives uh, can be useful for the younger generations who wish to work globally. Moving on, I would like to ask about the future. So what can we expect uh, from your partnership going forward? What do you wish each other will create in the near future? We, Shimizu Corporation, as Master Builder, we would like to continue to be trusted partner with Hanafi san and Surya Toto, Indonesia, in terms of design, construction, and sometimes investment. So I really hope that our partnership will only get stronger as time goes by. Thank you so much. Mr. Hanafi? Yes, thank you, uh, Akiyama san. Uh, yeah, I see Shimizu from last time they are working in uh, only commercial building, now they go to residential and now they are building infrastructure, they, they give us the MRT, you know, so I hope uh, Shimizu will continue to work together with Indonesia as a whole, improve the Indonesian uh, country, yeah, so of course, uh, when, you know, as you build more and more, we would like to continue to be your partner in the building material. I'm so much appreciated by Hanafi-san's comment. Uh, like he said, uh, we are doing now on not only a building, construct a building, factory, infrastructure project, like a MRT, big project in the town. So in future, Shimizu want to keep on the essential uh, corporation company for uh, Surya Toto by Hanafi, and the uh, uh, Indonesian country and the people. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Akiyama. As we end this session, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our outstanding guests, Mr. Hanafi Atmadi Reja and Mr. Akiyama Kohei for their essential contributions in today's interview. Thank you so much for both of your time. To our viewers, we appreciate you joining us on this journey of discovery and education. We hope that this interview has helped you better appreciate the role that these companies has played in the future of Indonesia and learn a thing or two about working globally. Never forget that every discussion offers a chance for learning and development. Let's keep engaging in conversation, asking questions, and hopefully continuing learning. I am Divya Kariza signing off from today's edition of the Shimizu Premium interview. Goodbye and see you again.